crazy, crazy, crazy. It looks like lurkers are being morphed. Um, and I assume... Well, actually, I'm not sure what he's going with the double evo. We shall see if it is ranged attack or melee attack. Uh, looks like some units coming in from the back. Might want to get another snipe off. There's a nice storm getting a lot of the units, only killing one of them, though. Uh, God having to morph that into an Archon. He is now, once again, without a single High Templar against a massive Hydro Lurker force. Um, this is this is not looking too great for God. On the other hand, he is getting his third base up. It is spotted by the Overlord, uh, but once that gets up, he will be on even bases with the Zerg. And the Zerg still not well. No, it looks like he did uh, drone up uh, once again. He hasn't put guys back on this third gas though. He's only got two guys on that gas. But it looks like uh, the Lurkers are out and the Hydras from the flank. But the the Zealot Archon force a little bit too mobile, running away from the Lurkers uh, and trapping a lot of these Hydras. But those Lurkers will force God back a little bit. Lurker in the third. Does God have an OBS yet? He does have an Observatory. I don't see an Observer though. Uh, a couple of Dragoons just trying to get some snipe, uh, or rather trying to snipe uh, a Lurker before he can borrow, but not going to happen. This one Lurker doing some damage to the Nexus and the Pylon. I don't think it'll be able to take it out though. Uh, the OBS should be coming along shortly. Um, the Summon X Core isn't spinning, so I assume Dragoon range is done. Looks like one Zella is just going to charge out the front. Oh, looks like there's the Observer, going to clean up all these Lurkers. Looks like four Lurkers went down. The Link's trying to come in to reinforce, but just a little bit too slow. Um, and of course that Lurker could go down as well. So it looks like his Nexus, this third base, will go up. Meanwhile, Hayek is not actually trying to retake uh, any bases here in the bottom right. I don't know if he's... is he taking up? Yes, he is going to Hive Tech uh, off of three bases since his fourth was sniped. It looks like uh, some more Lurkers here. Oh! Looks like those Lurkers were in position to get the pros, but they didn't quite get any- Oh, but those Lurkers are definitely in position! Wow, God, with a nice reaction pulling those units away, but it looks like he will lose that Nexus. But these Lurkers are all clumped, he could storm it, there's a decent storm, he needs another storm, there's a good storm, getting two Lurkers and a bunch of links. Uh, if he could get another storm on this clump, he could definitely get those Lurkers as well. Ah, uh, storming his own zealots a little bit. There are three Lurkers remaining, um, but are there- there's one High Templar, I, I don't know if it's used as energy yet. Uh, that Archon has 11 kills, pretty heroic, but it looks like God will get denied this third base, so it is still two base against three. Hayek is still doing fine. Oh, God's gonna lose an Observer there for no good reason. Uh, he does have two more. Looks like Hive is done. Is there any Hive tech yet? Uh, there is a little bit of an attack here, a few Lings just going in there. Uh, sacrificing themselves. Looks like a lot of lings are being produced. In indeed, he did upgrade melee attack rather than ranged, so he is playing for the late game ultra ling. Uh, a couple of drones going out. I assume he's actually going to be double expanding here. Uh, but here comes a push from God. There's a storm getting a lot of hydralisks. Hayek not paying attention. A nice storm there, but it's just the army for the Protoss is really, really small. Uh, he's got dragoons, archons, and templars, which is a not very uh, cost efficient unit mix, but uh, it's not enough of them. Um, and a lot of Scourge right now out as well, I assume for sniping observers. Uh, and is there going to be the double expand? Looks like that drone got confused. This drone figured out where he's supposed to go. And this drone, I assume, will be building a hatchery. God, meanwhile, sending a probe here to retake his third base. Um, but Hayek is double expanding, so uh, even if that gets up, Hayek will still be in a decent position. And more Lurker Link for the time being. I'm assuming uh, Ultra Tech is on the way, though. I can't imagine him going Lurker Link forever. No, it's just going to be Defiler. Okay, Lurker Link Defiler. That's that's cool too. Cracklings certainly do a ton of damage. There's the Nexus going down, but there are the two bases of the Zerg already going up. One Lurker going to bite the dust. Um, whoa, looks like God is actually... See, look, he mined out his natural way before his main. So as I was saying earlier, uh, he, he did transfer uh, way too many probes initially. Especially if you consider that there's only six patches in the nat and nine in the main. Uh, looks like a little bit of a poke in here at the natural. Uh, whoa, for a second there I thought those Scourge were going to attack that Overlord. That would have been crazy. Scourge, don't kill me. I am your master. I provide the supply for you. <laughs> this Archon at one HP somehow survived everything and is slowly recharging its shields. 1TT going out, but oh, there's an Overlord, but it looks like those guys were on the move command. Uh, he needs to borrow those. Oh, it looks like High Templars. Oh my god, that storm! Storming themselves, but it doesn't even matter. Getting us so much link, so many links, so much link blood all over the floor. But it looks like, oh! A, a, an attack from the back, taking out the Nexus. A nice uh, attack of the natural to pull the army away, and meanwhile, backstabbing with a bunch of links, taking out the Nexus. I did not even notice that. 
that's how good that uh, that attack was. I'm certain God didn't notice that either, because he just lost that Nexus. More Link flooding, and of course, these are the power of uh, Adrenal upgraded Zerglings. Um, of course, with good upgrades. Now they are at 2-2. God is at 3-0, but against 2-2 Cracklings, uh, there's not much you can do. But here's the DT in the bottom right. Unfortunately for him, there's not too many drones to to devour yet. Uh, but he might actually get one of these hatcheries, if not both. No, it looks like uh, Hayek <laughs> sees it, so he's going to go in with the Lings. So God, I like oh! Only... Yeah. I'll just sit check. <laughs> All right. So God uh, taking Yo. his third base now at the top right, um, giving up on this in, on his normal third because uh, well, it keeps dying. And more Lings, a ton of Lings. Is he saving up gas? Yes, there is the Ultralisk Cavern. There it is. Um, looks like the DT did get cleaned up by these Zerglings. But God, doing a big push now, but his army is not together, it's scattered, he could... Uh, no, looks like Hey didn't have good units in position, or else he might have been able to snipe a few of these high temps. Um, the army, of course, was quite drawn out. you got to be very careful when you're running around with a large army. Because, for example, this happens where one Templar gets sniped by his Lings, which is very, very bad. Using a Storm, only getting a three Lings, though. It's not what you want to have happen. Looks like these Lings... Oh, they're going to spot the probe transfer, so he's going to know that there is a base somewhere in the top right. Uh, these Lings might actually follow the probes home. And I hear more things shooting. I guess Dragoons... What is shooting? Oh, looks like those Dragoons are shooting Zerglings. Okay. Um, wow, that's actually a lot of High Templar running around. This is, this is a decent army composition. Dragoon Templar, of course, uh, quite nice, but very gas heavy. Looks like a handful of Zealots. A Zealot uh, crack squad is going down to the bottom right. There are no Sunkens yet. There are a number of drones, so these guys could do a lot of damage, but it looks like a giant counterattack of Zerglings, but Zerglings just melting to storm. Zerglings do not too well when there's storm on the field. Here come the Ultralisks. They don't have their armor upgrade yet, though. It looks like... Do they have their speed upgrade first? No, that can't be right. Oh, man, so much storm going down. There's a dark swarm, but uh, there's not many units. I think he needs to back up out of the swarm. God needs to back up out of the swarm. He does have a few Dragoons, he can micro the down these two uh, Ultralisks. And of course the top right ba base is up and mining now, he hasn't taken the gas yet, but he does have mineral income. Uh, the Ultralisks do go down, Dragoons are actually quite good against Ultralisks, especially with this plus three attack. Uh, and the Ultra Armor not yet finished. Looks like the, those Zealots did take down this bottom right hatchery, are they going to take down this hatchery as well? Yes! Both bottom right hatcheries go down, so now, in a sudden turn event of events, God is actually the one in the in a decent position. Of course the Zerg does have Ultra Ling out, but he... Uh, he doesn't have any new bases. Look, his main is uh, pretty much mined out. His natural is almost mined out as well. His third is getting very, very low. And God has this nice, uh, shiny new base here at the top right. So as long as God can survive for a little bit longer, he should be able to overpower the Zerg. These Zealots will even escape with these lives. These awesome, heroic Zealots taking out both hatcheries in the bottom right and living to tell the tale. I'm not quite sure how many drones they got. Um, probably killed all the drones. Um, looks like an observer is just going off by itself to check things out. Looks like God is almost completely mined out in main and natural as well. Um, might be thinking about taking this third base, but at this point I don't think uh, I don't think he'll take it anytime soon. He doesn't already have that base at the top right, and he knows Zerg is um, in a in a bit of a pickle economically. So he just has to uh, defend himself, and I think he'll be in good shape. But the Ultra Ling, of course, is extremely deadly. Um, let's see if he can get off some good storms. That's a lot of Ultra Lisks. There's a not-so-great storm. He needs a few more really good storms. Uh, his army, oh my goodness, no, it looks like God is in a lot of trouble. The army getting surrounded. A lot of Ultra Lisks. One storm going off. Not that many storms, I don't understand. There weren't even as many storms as Templar. He had like five high Templar, and he only stormed like two or three times. I don't know, did he just not have energy? I'm not really sure what happened. He was running around for a long time. I don't understand why he didn't storm a few more times. But the, this Ultra Ling army now is probably going to be able to take out this top right base. This Ultra Ling is just so, so scary to deal with as Protoss. Uh, you just need a ton of uh, Archons, really. Or Reavers. And or Reavers. Um, to deal with it effectively. Uh, so God running around with barely a control group of units. Uh, against a lot, a lot of Ultra Lisks. That is quite scary. There's even a drone chilling here with his minerals. I'm not sure what he's doing. Sale, could you read Skype for a second? Uh, sure, I can. Uh, whoa, there seems to be a lot of chatting going on. Hold up, hold up. Is this is this urgent? It's not urgent. Uh, right. yeah, yeah. 
It is urgent. Do I want to cast? All right, hold, uh, viewers, viewers. Oh, hold on. After this fight, after the battle, is the next is gonna go down. Ultra Link coming in here. A lot of probes going down. I don't know if God can hold this. His army is completely out of position. He's almost certainly gonna lose the Nexus. He's lost so many probes there, at least. Even if he saves the Nexus, he will have no probes left to mine from it. Uh, he is coming in here, though. The Nexus, the Nexus goes down. This game just so back and forth. It looks like Plague on everything. Even the Observers getting plagued. The Observers, having been plagued, are now visible. Um, Plague does reveal cloaked units. Oh no, looks like God is in so much trouble right now. God, God might be losing this game right here. He has no more mining bases. He has no army. He's facing five Ultralisks on the field. And probably more coming. And uh, looks like Hayek has set up his bottom right again. It looks like it took some damage. There might have been a DT or something going on. I didn't notice because uh, while that was happening, GG! God! Getting taken down by Hayek in game one of this group. I don't even know what the group number is, but that was a great game. So, back to more urgent matters. I'm, I'm just going to go to the stream on this, or to the chat on this one. So, let me make a poll here. Uh, which game? KR versus Various. Yaiba. Yaiba? Versus Gosu Dark. Start poll. And let me bring up the chat once again. Uh, looks like a lot more people want Yeba versus Gosu Dark, so we'll go with that one. Okay. Uh, test it for lag. Okay. Uh, what's the map? I'm I'm telling the I'm telling that you're hosting. Uh, it's winner versus winner. It is Hitchhiker. Okay. okay. Um, I guess that will be download. There we go. All right, it's hosted. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going into Yeba versus Gosu Dark. Uh, I think you said this was the winners match. Well, of course, from the map, it is the winners match of whatever group they. 